Hello, old socks. Exciting news. I'm going out with a very open-minded woman from Rio de Janeiro. Now, it's all upside, except Milky Pilkington is going around town telling everyone that I got a Brazilian. Fucking Milky. Anyway, she's very eco-aware, right? So much so that she, in solidarity with the polar bears, she drives a white Range Rover, right? And it's a 2016 and everything, and she refuses to buy a new one because, I know, tree hugging or whatever, but a very deep one. Now, anyway, off the back of all this the other day, she asked me to do the impossible. She asked me to bring this car for an NCT. Now, that's impossible because no one in the Captain's Cork industry has ever been for an NCT, or as we call it, the Norrie car test. We call it this because it's a sign that your car is more than four years old and therefore subject to the harshest penalty available to the Captain's, which is to make you walk down the South Mall in a T-shirt that says, I met my wife in Gary Vaux. Fuck, no. Absolute curtains. That said, I said, look, uh, no, I'll do the NCT because you have amazing legs. She has, really. You should see them. So I, I went down there. There, I did all the proper preparations. I emptied the boot, you know, water in the tank and tuned the radio away from Lyric in case the mechanic thought it was a langer, right? So dropped it in and then stood outside minding my own business. Unfortunately, the guy next to me didn't mind his. So come here, uh, what line are you in yourself? I said, the Habsburgs. Boom. Good line, right? I mean, but not untrue. I mean, there's no shortage of European aristocrats on the Blackrock Road. Bunty's actually one of the Von Harringtons from Stuttgart. He's a certain everything on the wall of a 72 grand man shed. I would move up and say, no, like, what do you walk at? I said, well, I'm the president of the Captain's Cork industry. Do you get a good car? No, with that. I said, well, like a company car. Where do you think I live? Glanmire? No, like, like my own limited edition Range Rover. Right, and that'd be, that'd be good now for the dogging, would it? I said, what? Dogging, like, you know, doing the business in a car park or watching other people doing it. Like, everyone that does the NCT is into dogging. Ask those people. So the woman goes, oh, we love dogging. Isn't that right, Kieran? He goes, oh, I love it. I love it. We've got the Safira, right? It's got excellent side lines, back to front, side to side. Nice high ceiling for standing up to get your jocks on and off. Fucking hell. So then this other guy comes up and goes, uh, you guys are all into dogging, right? NCT. Uh, I'm new to Cork. Where would be a good place to go? She goes, well, we do like Carrick Tool. Now, mind you, it gets a Waterford crowd and we've noticed, haven't we, Madeline, that they struggle with the premature ejaculation. Fucking hell. So then the first guy goes, so come here, would you, would you like to try a bit of dogging yourself? I said, you know what? I probably would, but like, I couldn't go in my own car. So guys, there's the question. What's a good car for dogging? 